Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's video is all about who I think will stay at Luton Town during the transfer window. Now I've done these types of videos um, before every single season for you guys. You guys seem to enjoy these types of videos. So here it is. Who do I think will stay at Luton Town during this transfer window? So basically what this video is all about I get a list of players who I think could potentially be transfer listed, who I think could potentially be brought out by another club who want basically who want our players. So the first player which we are going to kick off with is Peter Kioso. Now Kioso, he's done well at every loan spell he's been at. Bolton, Northampton, MK Dons. All three clubs, I think if they had the option to actually buy Kiosso on a permanent transfer, they would definitely go for it. Now, Bolton and also MK Dons are in League One. So they have, you know, potentially, you know, have that little bit of power in order to persuade Kiosso to come and drop down from the Championship to League One and play regular first team football. Because that's what P um, Peter Kiosso he wants. He wants first team football. He's made that quite clear. And I have no problem with that. I love it when youngsters out there want to play football, want to get game time, and just want to improve themselves and play at the highest level possible. And why not him? But the issue with Kioso is he has to compete with James Bree at Luton. When I think the higher, higher you basically you go up, the more likely you are going to be competing with another player for a spot. That's what it is. You know, at League One, League Two, you could probably get away with it. The backup choice at those level in, in the leagues and like the further down you go, you're probably not going to get a competitive backup. But in the championship, Prem and in, in the top divisions, you are, you're going to get someone always trying to chase you and trying to grab your spot. And that's what I think is happening here. Kiyoso is chasing James Bree's spot. Right now, I don't see Kiyoso as being a first team right, well, I don't see him being number one right back at Luton which makes me believe that he could potentially leave the club because he wants to play regular first team football and I have like I've already said I've got no problems with that. Kioso in my opinion will play for Luton but as a squad player. You know, he will fill in in certain games if James Bree gets injured, suspended or we play a different tactical approach or we need to give James Bree a rest. Kioso will get minutes and it's proof that's proved, you know, since he's re been recalled back in January from January to the end of the season, he's played quite a lot of games. And it's whether or not he wants that or not. And I don't think he does. So in my opinion, I actually do think he also will leave in the summer. We have um, extended his deal. So we can get some money for him. If we do sell him, um, Hartlepool do get a percentage of that sale. Because they have a, um, a clause in there. But... There's been a lot of rumours that we are going to try and maybe get someone from MK Dons. Now, MK Dons didn't get promotion to the championship. So, some of their players will actually probably go and play in the championship because they've done quite well this season. So, I could see a potential swap deal with money um, being put on the table for a player from MK Dons. Whether people like signing players from MK Dons or not, you know... They've got some good players there, and if we can get one or two of them, that would be great. It definitely would improve us massively um, within our squad. So that could potentially happen with Kioso, or Kioso could just completely go to another club, um, get brought out by another club, and yeah, play regular first team football. I don't think that would be in the Championship, though. I do think a League One club would go in for him, but I don't think he's the finished article yet. I think there's still plenty of improvement he can make in himself. There's definitely areas to his game which he can improve on. Um, I think he can do that at Luton if he stays, but I think he wants first team football and to become a better football, a better footballer, you need to play as many games as possible at times, but you know, it can also go the other way. The next player which we are going to talk about, it is Cal Naismith. Now, Cal Naismith is out of contract. He is in discussions about signing a potential new one. Now, the only reason why I think Naismith would go, there were some rumours out there that West Brom were looking at him. The only reason why I think he would go would be for one final paycheck. In, actually, regards to all these players as well, money does talk. You know, if they do get a better offer elsewhere, you know, it could persuade them to go. It really could do. But Carol A. Smith is definitely one player that could potentially go. He's played his best ever football 
um, last season. It's probably his best ever season in professional football. So that could persuade another club to go in for him. Now, I don't think he would go. I really don't. I think he's played his best football at Luton, and I think that's the reason why he would stay. The only reason why I could potentially see him going would obviously be for a final paycheck by another club in the championship, or he would move closer to home because, obviously, being from Scotland, you know, he has pretty much moved down here. He's played a lot of his football recently, obviously, in the south of England. So he may would like to go back up north a little bit, a little bit closer to home. So a move could be on the cards for him, um, potentially. Who knows what could happen? But I do hope Cal Naismith does stay because I do think he's been, well, he's been very good for us um, since we've signed him. Another player that's in a similar situation to Cal Naismith is Snodgrass. Now, Snodgrass... The situation is a little bit different, but roughly the same. Now, Snodgrass, same as Naismith, also from Scotland. He is at the age now where, you know, he has got he doesn't have many years left in him, Snodgrass. And he may want to go back to Scotland and play his remaining, you know, seasons up there. Be a lot more closer to home. Or he could get one final paycheck. Now, Snodgrass... He is a high-profile footballer. The fact that we actually signed him was a massive surprise for me. I didn't think he would play for a club like us. Um, but he's proved me wrong. He's proved that he has the right attitude. His experience on the pitch is massive. It's just the clever bits of play he does. It's just incredible at times. And I really hope he does sign a new deal. He's probably going to get a year. Probably, I don't think anyone would offer him a two-year deal um, because of his age. So I do think he's going to get a one-year deal. But... Would he would rather go to a club that's probably more likely going to confirm a playoff place? Because he can play for any club in the championship, in my opinion. He's that good. But it's whether or not they think he's still got it in him. I still think he does. I think he's proved it as well. His set pieces, his deliveries are just incredible. And I just hope he does, set, he does stay. But in the back of my mind, I feel like money is the answer with him. And I feel like if he could get one final paycheck, he would get that final paycheck, in my opinion. Or, like Naismith, he'll move closer back home. So those are the, you know, the two grey areas, unfortunately. The next player which we are going to talk about is Danny Hilton. Now, we have offered Danny a new contract, but Danny, it's whether or not he wants to be, what's well, firstly, he wants to play more minutes. Um, he's always going to be a squad player, in my opinion. I don't see Danny being a regular starter. I don't see him getting in front of Adebayo. I also think Luton need to actually go out and sign a striker who can compete with Elijah, because I do think when Elijah is injured, you know, although Jerome and Hilton, they have that experience and they have scored goals throughout their careers, they're not the same as Elijah. We need someone either a little bit younger than those strikers. But the one reason why I think Hilton may go is because he wants to play more football. He could easily play League One, League Two, Hilton, and get a lot more minutes. So... That's the only reason why I think Hilton would potentially go. But I think Hilton would stay. Um, he loves the club. He loves Nathan. Nathan loves him. You know, I do want more goals out of him. But, you know, I just see him as a squad player. I see him as, you know, he's just going to take part. Come on at times. Cause a bit of problems for the championship defenders, which he can do. But, yeah, those, those are the reasons why I think he may go. But I, I think, like, it's pretty much an 80% chance that he would stay. The next player is Alan Campbell. Now, although he's had a fantastic, great second half of the season, I thought his first half of the season in the Championship was all about adapting. Now, if he does repeat another season in the Championship, like he has done, especially that second half of the season, then yes, I do think he would go after his second year at the club. But right now, I don't think he will go. I think not many clubs... I think clubs would look at him and keep them will keep him on their radars but i don't think he would go i think we're going to be safe i think he needs to do it, produce another season like he has done and then he would get more interest and that's when i see him potentially moving up the league i actually do see him playing in the premier league he is like the white kante he has performed extremely well at, here at luton so yeah those are the reasons why i think that C campbell will stay i know a lot of people think he may go but i have full confidence that Campbell will stay and I actually have full confidence a lot of players actually will not leave Luton you know I'm very confident that a lot of players will actually stay at the club but it's like I've already mentioned it's money if money comes calling you know half the time that's the reason why players go it really is the next player 
the same actually the same it's actually gonna be similar reasons to Campbell really is Elijah Adebayo now Elijah has had rumors to go to other clubs he's had links but I don't see I don't see Elijah going he's been at championship level now for 18 months I feel like he needs to produce another season like Campbell like what he's done last season he hit 16 goal 16 goals last season I think if he hits 20 and also be a little bit more consistent in his performances, then I do think he will then get a move after this next season. The reason why I'm saying this is because at times, I think Elijah went missing in a few games, um, and we just weren't really on it. But we have a fantastic record with Elijah. Every time he scores, we don't lose. We had that same record with Pelly. Hopefully that record actually continues, and hopefully we can get more goals out of Elijah. But if he stays fit throughout the whole season, which, I, you know, with our injury luck, you know, it, it's been crazy at times. But, yeah, if he stays fit throughout the whole season, gets more goals to his game, then I do see him potentially getting um, a Premier League move. Um, that's going to be the next step for him. Or a championship club who are going to be looking for promotion will come in for him. But if he produces another season like he has done, then, you know, we are going to get a lot of money um, for him. The next player which we are going to talk about is Dan Potts. I actually think Dan Potts is going to be transfer listed. Um, he's under contract at the club. I just don't see him playing football for us. I think he would want to play regular football. He's just going to be a he's just going to be a squad player. He's just going to come in if we need him to. He isn't first name on the team sheet in my opinion. I think the only reason why he played um, as much as he has done last season was because of injuries. And normally we don't have that bad injury luck. So if everyone's fit next year i don't see dan potts anywhere near the pitch and um, the starting 11 if i'm being honest with you i just don't see it so i do think dan potts is either going to get a loan move or he's going to be transfer listed i just don't see him um getting into the side at all i don't think he's as good as what the players we have at the club now so i just think Dan Potts' time at Luton is coming to an end. He's been one of our longest serving players at the club now. He's been here since, you know, since John Steele was at the club. So I think now, for me, I think it's time for him to go now, get some regular football. I think his injury record as well doesn't help. He's, he is quite, he is, he is frequently injured. So, yeah, I don't see Dan Potts staying at Luton anymore. And that's the same with Glenn Ray. Now, Glenn Ray and Nathan Jones, you know, when they first, you know, joined each other, they were, you could clearly tell that Glenn Ray was Nathan Jones's, you know, guy. But unfortunately, it, it, with some major in injuries that have happened to him um, in the last three years, he got a major injury at Wigan while being on the loan there. I don't think he's the same player anymore, which is a real shame because I remember when he came back during our, you know, staying up campaign in the championship for the remaining games, he was a vital part of that but i just don't see him staying at the club unfortunately um injuries have just proper affected him and he's i just don't see he's just not the same player he really isn't the same player um and then obviously going out on loan to wigan just shows that he's just he needs he wants first team football and i just don't see him getting that at luton and finally the last player which we are going to talk about is dion Pereira. now he's gone out on loan a few times now um he does look good. He really does look good. Um, Bradford fans seem to love him. And there's apparently rumours that he's actually going to join Bradford um, for another loan deal for a season. So it'd be interesting to see what he can potentially do there. He's also got an... Uh, well, he had an option in his contract, which we have extended, um, which is great because I do see a good player there. It's just whether or not he's going to be championship ready. I don't think he is. So I do think he will get another loan move. But fingers crossed we don't actually let him go for a price. Because I do see him, you know, a future at Luton if he keeps up this progression at the football club. So guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy listening to my thoughts on who I think will stay at the club. And who I think could potentially leave um let me know down in the comment section your thoughts let me know who you think will stay um is there any place that you think may leave the club or you think another club will come in for these players let me know down in the comments if i've missed anyone let me know down below don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already don't forget to like the video as well liking the videos helped me massively guys and i'll see you guys in the next video